everybody and welcome back to another Dollar Tree haul with me, Margo. Alright guys, you must have realized by now I will be doing a voiceover for this video. Unfortunately, our audio was not working. She's going to keep gabbing while I'm going to keep gabbing. And uh, hopefully soon she'll start showing some products. Alright, so here we go. We have this spaghetti in a bag. And it takes about 60 seconds, I believe, in the microwave. I did try the Barilla one. Nope, no thank you. Didn't like it. My sister raved about this one. So I did buy it, and we have tried it. It's very, very good. We mixed ours with some meat sauce. So this next product here is mixed fruit. I did purchase the peaches and really liked it. So I saw the mixed fruit and decided that um, I'll give it a try. And for $1.25, that's an awesome price for four small bowls. Here's the nutritional facts. But sm four small bowls for $1.25 is an awesome deal. We have this new product by Idaho. It is ranch-flavored shredded potatoes. I did get two two-packs, and my husband and I tried them the other night. I wasn't a big fan of them. My husband liked them, so we do have one two-pack left, and he's probably going to end up eating them because I was not a big fan. Here's the nutritional facts on this one. And I don't see, I mean, I'm going to show the Best Buy dates on all of these, but I don't remember them offhand. So hopefully they show up on film. Then we needed some salt and pepper. I picked up the salt. I did look for this receipt. It says 75 cents on the product. I couldn't find the receipt, so I'm not sure if I paid the 125 or not. And then there's the Best Buy date. And then we picked, I picked up this uh, pepper grinder. We really like this pepper. We needed both salt and pepper, so I did pick those up. With this apple cider muffin mix that I bought, I'm actually going to add little pieces of apples and walnuts to it. And the expiration date on this is December 2025. And here's the nutritional facts. The next item is brownie mix. My son had seen somebody hauling this one and asked me to pick up this particular one. There's the nutritional facts on that one. And the Best Buy date is on the top, I believe. So that's a recipe over there on that side of the box. If you're looking for the expiration date, it's right there on top of the box. I picked up deodorant. I needed deodorant. Then I picked up this um, Ultra Spray. I think it's by Home Bright, but it looks like the Dawn uh, Spray. And I've used the Dawn Spray even on stains on my shirt, and it works great. So I'm going to give this a try. This next product, my son and I have definitely tried these before. But this one is a 20-ounce, not a 16-ounce. And this one is Dream Orange. We have tried the root beer and we've tried the uh, cream soda and they're both fantastic. So I'm going to chill this and we're actually, we did try it and we both really, really like it. That's I'm showing you there that it's the 20 ounce, not the 16 ounce. So Wizard has out four different new scents. This first one is sweater season I think it smells really good then I picked up this one it is the pine scent it also smells good actually I haven't smelled one I didn't like there I am yeah it does smell good and then this third one is holly berry the only one that I did not pick up in this series I guess I want to call it is the um, sugar cookie or vanilla cookie, something like that. I didn't find it. I did pick up this product right here. I used the one with the purple cap and absolutely love it. 
This one I'm actually going to bring to one of my cousins. She has curly, curly hair, and I think she's going to like this product. And the good thing about this is you can always go to Walmart. They have it for $2.97, I believe it is. But that's a great brand. So these K-Cups, there's four in a box. They are by Papa Nicholas, and it is Hawaiian Island. It is a light roast, so if you like, like light roast coffee, this would be perfect. They also have it in the four-ounce bag. This is a pen, of course, with a cup of coffee on the top, and it's going to go in this coffee mug for my sister when she comes to visit us in October, and I will be putting coffee in there just like that. So that'll be going in the bedroom at my sister's house where my sister will be staying. This right here I picked up for ice. My son has been putting the ice, extra ice in the ice bucket, and we needed a scooper. So I picked that up. This is a six ounce package of Frisky's Purina cat treats. And these are playful, you can roll them, the great thing about this, honestly, is it's a six ounce package. The other packages, here's your best by date. The other packages they have at Dollar Tree are a little over two ounces. So you're getting more bank for your buck with the six ounce bag. This right here is for um, a dog. It is a treat and it's rolled, o um, rolled oats and rice. So I think that this would be good for my grand dog. I'm not positive. I'll have to ask my uh, stepdaughter. But here's the nutritional facts and the best by date on those. I think they'll be okay because it is rice and oats. This is Bam Bones by Spot. And this is for dogs 30 pounds and under. This one is bacon flavored. They also had chicken flavored and uh, you could see back here well it's made with bamboo and I did buy it for not my grand dog because she's much bigger than not much bigger but she's bigger than 30 pounds this brush right here is new and it is you know the attachment that goes on it's an attachment that goes on those poles that we buy but it's very hard bristle I think it's going to be great for scrubbing the floor and it at least you can put it on the pole. You don't have to get on your hands and knees and actually do the scrubbing. Hopefully that works out good. These two right here are actually salt and pepper shakers. They're adorable. They say blessed and thankful and they're ceramic pumpkins. I'm actually not going to use them as salt and pepper shakers. I'm going to use them as decoration. This Grim Reaper mask my sister had been looking for. She's actually making a life-size Grim Reaper and this was the last piece she needed for what she's making so I did find it and I picked it up for her this right here this is so beautiful it's copper color candle holder metal and it's pumpkin there's also a gold leaf one but I wanted this one and I did purchase a candle, you'll see, at Dollar Tree for $3. Everything else in the haul was $1.25 except for one more item, you'll see. But it fits in there perfectly. And I liked the orange with the copper, so that's why I did get the orange one. But this size candle right here fits in there perfectly. I don't know how good the throw is going to be on it, but it does smell good just like that. But I'll give it a try. Even if I don't, it's beautiful decoration. These next two pair of socks I picked up for my sister. She's a huge Smurf fan, and I'm almost positive she doesn't have these two. I've never seen these two before. Uh, so I did pick them up. And I'm not sure which Smurfs these are, but I did get them. This next one is a game called Headbands. And I've definitely played this in the past. I think this is going to be great for toys for tots. I mean, even adults play this game, so it's a lot of fun. I found this, Ariel. These, is, these uh, stick to the wall for the bathtubs. 
I had never seen Ariel before, so I did pick that one up. That'll probably be either for Toys for Tots or one of the children I buy uh, Christmas gifts for. This next item as well, but I did pick this up because the inside of the wheels are red, and I thought it was pretty cool, but it is Kuda King, a Hot Wheels car. I think 125 is probably the same price you would pay at Walmart for a um, Hot Wheel or Matchbox car. This I bought in the craft section, and I was thinking about using it as a riser or maybe adding another circle to it and making it a little bit higher. But it is something that I picked up to put in my craft stash, excuse me, stash. And uh, someday I'll figure out what to make with it. These right here, I have been looking for for 10,555 days just like K for Karen says. But anyways, these are beautiful. They are four pack of wood frames. If anybody does miniatures or dollhouse, I think those would be great. I did pick those up to put in my craft stash. I just thought they were awesome. You can actually use those if you're going to make like a collage of pictures and just frame each individual pictures. These click clickets or clickers, clickers, I bought, there's two different kinds, and I picked up both of them, and honestly, it's just like a fidget toy, you're just clicking them, it's got a keychain thing at the end, you can hang it off your backpack, or off your purse, anything like that, but it is just for like a fidget toy. These four figurines I was so happy to find, they're Monster High, my nieces love Monster High, so these will definitely be going to them. Here is the back of the package. I did only see four different ones. If there's more than that out there, please, someone let me know in the comments. While you're in the comments, if you've stayed this far, then please put an emoji of a microphone. F thank you for hanging in on this voiceover. So this product right here is a pour and paint it's plaster. This one is Nightmare Before Christmas. It comes with the mold, the plaster, and paint, and paintbrush. There was also Spider-Man and Frozen. So there was three different ones. But, I mean, adults would even like to do this. This is a nail polish remover pen. That way, when uh, if you have nail polish on the side of your nail... It's very easy to clean up with one of these. This is a game, Would You Rather? And this is, I think, geared for eight, year, eight years and over. It's a card game. And there's also this one, Beat the Parents. And I'm actually, we're going to play this as a family. Me, my son, and my husband. And anybody else that wants to play this game. I think it'd be pretty fun. Even with adults. These buckets right here, this is the other item that was also $3 and each. I did pick up two, one for each of the girls. The top part of the bucket does light up and it has three different modes to it. You, un you pop that off and then there's a button on the outside of the rim. There you go. Those are the three different modes for the light on the, the top. The bottom of the bucket does light up and it shines uh, around. I'll put a picture on the screen. It says trick or treat. I just think it's such a cool bucket. And I think the girls are going to be really excited about him. This perfume is Cher. And this one is from the 70s. So I found 60s, 70s, 80s. And the only one I need to find now is 90s. This is a 24-pack of faux nails by Pretty Woman. And I really, really like these nails. They do a great job. I just don't use the glue that's in there. I use the super glue. I think it works much better. This by Guru Nanda is the teeth whitening pen uh, with a brush. 
and you have 20 uses out of this one pack. I did buy multiple packs. I actually like using the um, brush. I don't really care for the trays where you have to put them in your mouth. I much rather use the brush. And this brand Guru Nanda, absolutely love. This is an air freshener wrap. And there's a, it's a four pack. Funny thing though, I found these in one store for $3. And when I scanned it, it was $3. Then I saw these ones hanging up on a strip that said $1.25. So I scanned this one. And this one came out $1.25. Weirdest thing, but if you're not sure, get the Dollar Tree app. Download it onto your phone, and that way you can scan the items and get the price. Only one store around me has the actual scanner in the store, but I do have the Dollar Tree app downloaded onto my phone for those reasons. Of course, I picked up an, a uh, deodorant wipes because you guys know I'm going to be donating these to my church for the homeless. I also picked up this, um, it's to wash your back, and it does have a texture to it. I have tried it, and I really do like it. It works good. It's great for exfoliating and to get your back clean. Oh, yeah, I did pick up two four-packs. This next product is by Must Have Beauty. It's a six-piece set of dual-size spoolies. I prefer a thinner brush for my mascara. There is two different uh, sizes on this one. Also, if you take vitamin E oil and put that in there, put it on your eyelashes, it's supposed to have them grow quicker. This nail polish is pretty cool. It's in the shape of a coffin, so I think I just want to use it for display. Perfect for Halloween. These last four products are all for small spaces. They're small space solution. Then this next magazine is small space decorating. This one is small space big style. And the last one I have is small space organizing. My house is a small house, so the more organized I can get, the better off I'll be. All right, guys, until next time, love you, bye.